Hello and welcome to this episode of the Diary of a Lawyer. And today I just want to um, just provide a synopsis of one of the increasingly um, interesting or bizarre directions in some of the specific court cases coming from the United States. And this specific one is in relation to the Southwest Airlines which um, a Trump appointed judge um, has surprised and shocked and in some respects saddened the respectability and reputation in some respect of the US um, judiciary. And essentially what some people have described is as quote-unquote another day and another extremist ruling by yet what they call yet another apparent extreme uh, Trump appointed judge and the decision is from Texas and according to observers they describe it as straight out of the handmaid's tale quote-unquote So the judge held that lawyers for Southwest Airlines uh, were in contempt of court for their actions in a religious discrimination case brought by a former flight attendant and ordered them to undergo quote-unquote religious liberty training. And not just any instruction, but training conducted by the Alliance Defending Freedom, ADF, brackets in short, which is described as a conservative group that litigates against same-sex marriage, transgender rights, and abortion rights. So the issue um, arises from a lawsuit filed by Charlene Carter, who was a flight attendant for more than 20 years and a longtime antagonist of the Southwest Flight Attendants Union, as described. And in 2017, after union members attended the Women's March under quote-unquote Southwest Airlines flight attendance banner, Qatar is said, according to the lawsuit, is alleged to have sent Facebook messages to the union president containing graphic anti-abortion messages. And in direct quotation of what the message says, it says, quote unquote, is, this is what you supported during your paid leave with others at the Women's March in DC, March being in capital. You truly are despicable in so many ways, Carter wrote in one message accompanying a video of an aborted fetus. After the union president complained, Southwest fired Carter saying her conduct crossed the boundaries of accepted behavior and was inappropriate, harassing and offensive, quote unquote, and did not adhere to Southwest policies and guidelines. An arbitrator found that Southwest had just cause for the firing. Carter then, represented by the National Right to Work Committee, sued claiming Southwest and the union violated her rights under federal labor laws and Title Seven. The federal job bias law bars employers from discriminating on the basis of religion, and Carter claimed she was dismissed because of her sincerely held religious beliefs against abortion. A jury found in her favor, uh, overwhelmingly so, and it awarded her 5.1 million US dollars through, through US District Judge Brantley Starr Although uh, the U.S. District Judge Brantley Star reduced the amount to about eight hundred thousand, and the case is being appealed. The part that is that has caught the attention of just general observers and the public is that the judge uh, Star instructed the airline to quote inform Southwest flight attendants that under Title Seven. Southwest may not discriminate against Southwest flight attendants for their religious practices and belief. 
that still sounds generally reasonable. Instead, uh, that Southwest said in a message to staff that court ordered us to inform you that Southwest does not discriminate discriminate against our employees for their religious practices and beliefs, quote unquote. So what then followed was that the judge was not happy and was described as ticked off by what he viewed as insubordination and in an opinion released this week held that Southwest in civil held Southwest in civil contempt of court and he's quoted as saying that in the universe we live in, the one where words mean something, Southwest noticed it didn't come close to com- complying with the court's order, the judge said. He went on to be quoted as saying that to make matters worse, Southwest had circulated a memo about the decision to its employees, repeating its view that Carter's conduct was unacceptable and emphasizing the need for civility. Is quoted on going to say that Southwest's speech and actions towards employees demonstrate a chronic failure to understand the role of federal protection protections for religious freedom, start decreed. He then proceeded to order three Southwest lawyers to undergo um, eight hours of religious liberty training, a move he described as quote unquote the least restrictive means of achieving compliance with the court's order, which is um, a clause in the Constitution. L- luckily, it was observed, uh, the judgment and observed, that there are esteemed non-profit organizations that are dedicated to preserving free speech and religious freedom, quote-unquote. The judge added a footnote citing that ADF's litigation of Masterpiece Cake Shop v. Colorado Civil Rights Commission in in the 2018 Supreme Court case, which involved the baker who refused to make a custom wedding cake for a same-sex couple. He he is quoted as saying that some of those entities laudably provide training free of charge for those who have struggled to respect religious liberties in the manner federal law requires, the judge said, uh, terming or classifying or describing ADFs as particularly well suited to train Southwest employees who are most responsible for the communications at issue here. Now, this, um, according to observers, described uh, is described as not even close to normal. And they claim that um, Southwest trampled on Carter's religious. Uh, I mean, they they provide an analogy and an assumption that says even if it was assumed that Southwest trampled on Carter's religious rights, although um, they argue that it seems highly dubious because they are there is scant evidence that the airline was motivated by animus towards. Carter's question face, and even if um, they generously also assume that Southwest flagrantly defied the judge's order, again, although according to observers, the airline did offer to send out a revised notice to employees, and another assumption according to observers is that it, let's assume that this behavior justified the extraordinary step of holding the company to contempt. And they're going to surmise that even if even if all those issues were assumed, the notion of <laughs> subjecting lawyers to a re-education campaign by the likes of the ADF is described as tantamount to creating a government-endorsed thought police, quote unquote, not my words. And they go on to observe that they are pro. Um, that would be comparable if other left-leaning or liberal-leaning federal judges order the same instruction, such as to take re-education, say, by Planet Parenthood, which is a non-profit or an organization that um, deals with abortion, they observe that that the response will be 
very very strong and understandably um human rights groups or um civil rights groups as it's generally known in the u.s like the southern poverty law center have labeled the adf a quote-unquote head group and although that may not go may be perceived as going a bit too far uh, the group is described as not being a neutral arbiter of constitutional values <laughs> and it's simply described as an advocacy organization that apparently takes zealous extreme uh, offensive position for example they cite that it has allowed um, quote-unquote practicing homosexuals to serve in the military who um, Oh, yeah, it has argued that allowing quote unquote practicing homosexuals um, to serve in the military or adopt children constitutes what they group terms as quote unquote attacks on family values that will ultimately destroy society, their words. And in a friend of the court brief in Lawrence v. Texas, the case in which the Supreme Court um, struck down laws criminalizing homosexual conduct. The organization argued that they should be upheld because, quote unquote, same sex sodomy is a distinct public health problem. Their words again, and I'm quoting them verbatim um, as words are attributed to them by observers. The, there's also reference to the organizations from a president to call who co-wrote a book which is termed titled quote-unquote the homosexual agenda exposing the principal threat to religious freedom today again quote unquote in which he is alleged um, to describe or do um, link um, certain practices to certain practices that let's just say are not complementary to people of that persuasion um there's reference to uh, some uh, descriptions on this website its website describing um stating that redefining marriage is ultimately part of a larger effort to redesign society in order to give social approval of certain behavior and to empower social acceptance of alleged what it, it describes as forgery of gender and sexual practice at all with natural law and millions, quote unquote. Um, and they, dis they claim that these are not just random examples, but apparently allegedly embody the organization's co convictions uh, or beliefs to which members are fully entitled under the First Amendment, uh, you know, an observation which they have the right to promote but i think what is um, described as a far cry um, is the judge description or the alleged reference to the group as quote unquote an esteemed group um, which is particularly <laughs> well suited to train southwest employees and order the lawyers to a sort of a form of re-education um, to be done by the organization. And so there it is um, in a nutshell, an employee is fired for what is clearly appears to be violence and purposes inappropriate um, uh, comments against other employees. Uh, she then sues um, the organization Southwest Airline under the religious freedom or constitutional protected right. Um, the judge makes a ruling, um, an award is reduced from the earlier award and orders um, the organization to, um, to provide a certain uh, level of, of uh, information to its employees um, which, in his view, 
was not sufficient to his standard but then orders and then their lawyers to attend re-education by an organization okay okay by an organization that is um an organization that that is described in terms as uh, not particularly suitable for um, retraining any lawyers in in terms of religious issues and first amendment and so there we shall leave it on this episode of the diary of a lawyer um, thank you and we'll speak again